Hey there, so today we have another beer talk and this is about sort of the ABV of the New England IPAs and the popularity of triple IPAs from what I've noticed. So uh, I want you guys to post in the comments below if what uh, you guys have to say about this stuff. But sort of this goes into the popularity of, I guess Hot Butcher has been sending me a bunch of uh, New England triple IPAs, but I've also been seeing some more. And to me, it's just, I'm surprised that more and more of those are coming out because from what I've noticed, there's more of a push towards lagers, more session, but I guess also we're also pushing towards ex exaggerating everything. So uh, we're exaggerating towards like, you know, more drinkability, Pilsner, lager, Kolsch, all that kind of other stuff, um, Keller beer, Italian Pilsner, and all these other things. But uh, then we're also ex exaggerating past 7 8%, past double IPA, we're pushing onto a triple IPA. As for my personal opinion, I'm mean, giving great examples, like a beer that I just read right over here, that I give a 98, but uh, in general, you know, I, I, I drink this beer and I just think to myself, like, at what point would I not think it'd be better at like eight, eight, five, nine percent? You know, you get more drinkability. I think you can get just as rich flavor. Uh, granted, I guess it's maybe easier for some breweries to push that temp uh, five percent. You get all those higher alcohols. And that's a great thing about being able to push at, uh, to that ABV. Alcohol is actually not a bad thing necessarily, ideally, if you brew it well, in the sense that um, that more alcohol can express these really nice kind of perfumey aromatics and the, and, and, and the precious sweetness. Like you can't just build the exact same beer at 4% and have it taste like a 10.5% beer. That makes any sense. Like a session IP is going to just have to taste more watery because there's just more water in it. There's less hops, even in the, let's say the same amount of hops, <laughs> like you can over bitter it <laughs> with, uh, uh, with hops. Uh, and then, but you're just not going to have as much malt. You're not going to have as much alcohol. It's just not going to be as tasty. That's why water is not as tasty as beer, right? Well, depending how you want to see it, but I think you may, uh, get my point. But there's a range of where people like the balance of something. Like, do you want the session at 5%, 4% and the drinkability and, and the, the, the ability of that beer to just wash away in your palate? Or do you want something a little bit more if uh, IPA range, you know, 6-7%? You know, I think everybody has their own range. For New England IPA specifically for me, some of my favorites sit around 7 8 8%. Really nice spot for me. Like, I, you know, I just built my palate on those double IPAs around them, you know? So I'm thinking like Hill Farmstead, Hetty Topper, Treehouse. Like, you know, a lot of those IPAs were just right in that range. And I just, I guess I grew on that palate and I, you know, I really like that range. Uh, some people prefer single IPAs. Some people won't buy anything other than double IPAs. And I guess now some people are exploring the world of triple IPAs. I mean, back when I got into this, triple IPAs weren't really a thing. There were a couple out there that I tried, but uh, now it seems like more and more breweries are like throwing triple IPAs out there, you know, left and right. So um, I want you guys to post in the comments below, where do you find your preference of New England IPA at? And then in general, like, I mean, I guess it's, it's different. It's different for like all kinds of different styles and what your drinking preference is, but specifically for New England IPA, what do you like? Because I've seen a lot of triple IPAs and I guess, you know, the impression beers. But the problem is they're also in a 16 ounce can. So it's a lot of beer to drink at 10.5. And again, I just like, if something tasty as this, it's just, it's sweet. It's exaggerated. Like I like sweet New England IPA, but it's just pushed it, you know, even further. And it's great. You know, if you want to, you know, this is a great beer split between five people. But, you know, if you're at home hanging out, like, you know. Even a double IPA, I just find like a little bit more attractive. So, um, so yeah, anyway, that's my preference. Double IPA, 10, 5, 8%. Uh, what's your preference? And uh, what's your opinion about seeing more of these New England triple IPAs out there? Honestly, I think a 12 ounce can or even those tiny eight ounce, would love that. Would love to see more of that, but that's my opinion. Post comments below, just opening up discussion with you guys. Later.